This piece is about a particular form of analysis known as CAPO. This work came from the work of Peter Checkland, who worked at Lancaster University in the United Kingdom. I in fact went and studied with Peter at uh, Lancaster. I'd studied some soft systems at Hawkesbury Agricultural College. Wishing to find out more, I enrolled in the Master's MA that he ran uh, at the Systems Department at Lancaster University, where, which I completed getting honours as well as staying on for two years to complete a PhD with Peter as my as my supervisor. In fact, the relationship goes a little further. He's godfather to my oldest son. The cat wow monomic refers to a particular piece of analysis or thinking um, in design terms as well as analytic terms about existing systems and he's being used in MGT 310 operations management at CSU to assist students undertake the case studies as part of the subject. The whole notion of ideas being able to think uh, critically and the subject 310 in particular, it's about doing something of value out there in the world, not just merely thinking in an isolated room somewhere. Uh, the analysis is intended to lead to real outcomes, to improvements in organisations or the original design for setting things up. Uh, so bear in mind all the time this is about getting something done, not merely talking about getting something done. Out of soft systems, one of the things that they're doing is designing purposeful human activity systems. All the time if you're designing purposeful activity you need to be very conscious of what needs to be included in order to achieve the outcome one sets out to achieve. And this uh, particular monomic was created as part of the soft systems analysis in order to assist students identify what needs to be included within a system when carrying on design work. So there are each of six particular elements that one must ask questions about when designing the system one is interested in. First interesting question always is who will benefit as well as who will be harmed. Uh, the, both outcomes are perfectly possible and always occur if you're undertaking purposeful activity. So you very much start to need to start with the customers. Who are they? What is the benefit or harm that they'll experience as a result of the operation of whatever you design? And think in those terms and start asking questions about it in order to improve the thinking about the particular situation or in this case case study that you are analysing. Someone has to do the doing. Uh, whatever that is, so who are the actors involved within the system that you are designing? And that's not just the immediate actors, you know, think more broadly beyond the immediate, immediately obvious. Uh, there's all sorts of players become involved. You know, if you're designing a manufacturing process, you've got a lot of actors around you. You've got all the transport people that companies you may make use of. You get all the sales staff in the endpoints where you're selling your product, for instance. Uh, so it might be a bit wider than the immediately obvious uh, conclusions you may leap to. So what's being changed by your operations? Uh, what is the particular transformation you're making? Uh, if you're running a gym, are you transforming overweight bodies into expected weight bodies or are you transforming unhealthy people into healthy people or are you transforming people who have a bad uh, self-image into those who have a good self-image. Uh, there is a fairly simple and obvious transformation you are making but you may be making more transformations than the immediate one you think of. All of this in design terms, if you deliberately start thinking more broadly than the obvious, then you'll improve your capacity 
design efficacious systems that will achieve what you set out to achieve. The W is uh, Weltanschauung, it's a very deliberate use of the German term, um, Dilthi's work in this area. And what is your worldview? What defines what you're doing as being meaningful? This is actually a fairly important element to analyse. If you define the world in a certain way, hold a particular view of who you are, all your behaviour will be decided or judged against that particular worldview. Uh, people don't act against their worldview at any point in time. You, know, you may uh, differ, and how often is change brought in an organisation merely to have it revert back to its original state? That comes back to the basic worldview defining the organisation never changed, and the organisation will always revert to the actual worldview in place. The difficulty here is worldviews, wealth and shell, is implicit. It's very hard to deal with because of its implicit nature. Next question is someone can start or stop the whole th affair. Um, so who is the owner of the system that you are designing? Fairly crucial you pay attention to these people. Uh, you want a system to be implemented and to operate over time. Uh, this is more than just perhaps the legal owner. You know, people can have power over an organisation that is not necessarily based as a legal status of ownership in its more commonly used term. Uh, these are the people who actually have real control over the situation and must be considered in the design phase. The next one, the E element, is very much the environment of which you cannot act independently. You are part of a context that has puts constraints on you. Uh, that they, they will decide your success or otherwise. Uh, the external constraints on the operation of a business uh, with, within its um, intention and within its situation that it finds itself in. So the whole Catway nomic is those particular six elements, the customer, the actor, the transformation, the wealth and shown, the owner, the environment. These ideas form the questions you need to ask when analysing an existing situation or whether you sit down to start designing a particular uh, business operation or a system of one kind or another. Have you considered each of these elements, thought through what it means in design terms or how you set up and operate the particular business? All of these are not recipes, they are tools to help you think. You know, Archimedes' Eureka moment in the story about the golden crown, how he resolved that um, the way dis a body displaces water within a container and supposedly ran naked sh shouting Eureka I found it through the streets of Syracuse and anyhow that's an uh, aside. This particular catway tool is a pat tool to help you think and come to the Eure Eureka moments to help you quite creatively construct the particular system that you are designing or analysing so you develop better insight to act more wisely within the world you operate in. So the Catwo elements provide you with a deliberate design tool for you to start asking questions to start deliberately designing the system you would put in place in order to deal with the case study you're dealing with within MGT 310.